Welcome to the healthiest, one of the healthiest buildings in Delhi. While the air outside is very polluted, you'll find absolutely fresh air in the building today. About 25 years ago or more, I became allergic to Delhi's air and it was killing me. And that is when I started my experiments and found solutions using green plants. Today, the PM 2.5s outside are more than 400, whereas inside they are less than 10. So whatever we are doing here has been at a low cost. Learning from what we have done, we're going to talk a little bit about what you can do to improve your own health and well-being in your own place. So let's start with your bedroom. And the first step you should do take is to declutter the bedroom Remove everything which you really don't need at night while you're going to sleep. Ideally, it should be just your bed and no paper, no plastic, no curtains, no carpets, and nothing stored inside your bedroom as such. So that the total VOCs, the volatile compounds, really come down in your bedroom to less than 50 microgram per meter cube. The second part is the removing the PM 2.5 by air purifier or by plants, but perhaps the pollution levels or the PM 2.5 levels in Delhi have gone up so high that perhaps it is better to use technology like HEPA filters to be able to remove the PM 2.5s, but let the plants do what machines cannot do, namely reduce the volatile chemicals like formaldehyde and benzene. This the plants can do and let me now show you which plants you can have, which you should have for your bedroom uh, to actually have good quality of air. The first plant is the areca palm, which is something which you should have outside your bedroom in the living room. You need about four shoulder high plants as far as areca palm is concerned. The second plant which you absolutely need is the mother-in-law's tongue or the Sansevieria. These six spots here have the required number of stems to be able to give you fresh air at night in your bedroom. And the leaves have to be wiped each day to make sure that they are not coated and they can, the stomatas are clean and clear so that they are doing their job. These plants must have either vermi manure, which is sterile, or you can have uh, media like coco peat, and uh, perlite and charcoal for the fertilization as such because otherwise there would be bacteria and fungus which you don't need in your bedroom. The third plant is the money, money plant and this particular plant is works very well to remove the volatile chemicals like formaldehyde and benzene especially in Delhi, both these items. And as far as money plants are concerned, you need as many as you can. Uh, if you had 50 or 100 stems in a, in a pot of water and you took the plants out and washed them under the tap, refilled the pot with fresh water and kept these pots in each room of your house, you'll find the volatile chemicals very low in your own house. So this is a very simple solution and you'll be able to grow the fresh air you need despite the fact that outside air is very polluted. So the solutions range right from a few hundred rupees to a lakh and a half rupees. Here is an inexpensive, low cost solution in terms of getting empty bottles and filling them with media or things like coco peat, charcoal, and, filling and using money plants to remove the volatile chemicals and also convert some CO2 into oxygen. This solution would cost you a few hundred rupees and is very effective. We found that over the past 25 years, in this particular building, headaches went down by nearly 50%, eye irritation went down, lung function, dysfunction reduced, and the probability of getting asthma also came down. Harvard University has published a study to showcase that your cognitive abilities can go up by as much as 299% and within six hours of being in this high quality of fresh air, your cognitive abilities increase by 
61%. So the younger people today want a quick return on their investment, a, a quick return on to see the results. And so I call it a chill pill where you can actually see the results in a very short time. So if you try this in your bedroom, you'll see that in the morning you're a smarter person than what you did when you went to sleep.